like ever since I was a kid, parang gusto ko laging may boyfriend. Parang ganon. Yung parang kung ano yung napapanood mo sa movie. Labing anim na taong gulang pa lang si Larry Jean Ricafort o mas kilala sa pangalang LJ Moreno nang una siyang magkanobyo. Ngunit agad na pudol ang relasyon nang umuwi silang mag-anak sa Pilipinas para dito manirahan. Dito naman nagbukas ang pintuan kay LJ patungo sa mundo ng showbiz dahil na rin sa kanyang tita Ness o Alma Moreno. Sa programang gimmick, umusbong ang kanyang karera. Pag sinasabi ng mga fans or something, or LJ pa autograph, or ay, ang ganda mo naman. Ako, ang sagot ko, imbes na thank you was, hindi ah, niloko mo ako. Yung gano'n. <laughs> so parang lagi ang pinapagalitan ng mama ko. I had to get used to it. Sa kabila ng nakakamit niyang tagumpay, isang malaking dagok ang kinarap ni LJ na maghiwalay ang kanyang mga magulang. Nasa ganoon mang sitwasyon, ginampanan ni LJ ang pagiging magulang at breadwinner sa anim niyang kapatid. At sa mga relasyon, pilit hinanap ni LJ ang pagmamahal. During all those relationships, I was really insecure. Sobrang salosa. Ay, ako yung feeling na naiiwan or yung ganoon. Yung, kasi siguro naghiwalay na nga yung parents ko and I find comfort in whoever I'm with. Sa ikalawang pagkakataon, naputol ang relasyon ni LJ sa nobyo. At doon niya napagtanto na kailangan niya ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. This time, you know, hindi ko na, hindi na ako makikipag-live in, I'm gonna do things right. Tapos I met Jimmy. Kahit tutol sa kanyang kalooban, pumayag siyang makipag-live in. I try to give reason na, na okay lang. Kasi eventually naman kakasal kami, so okay lang. Where in the back of my head, I knew na hindi okay. And during that time, Nga, mas naging insecure ako even if we live together na parang ang hirap ko masatisfy. I was never content. Nang mga panahong sila'y nagsasama, hindi naging mabiyaya ang relasyon at naging matumal ang kanyang showbiz career. Kung kaya't pinagpatuloy niya ang kursong education. Alam ko naman, kahit ayoko aminin na hindi din ta. Parang I'm not pleasing God with what I'm doing. Ang pinanghahawakan niyang apat na taong relasyon kay Jimmy ay humantong din sa hiwalayan. Yun yung pinaka-painful na breakup na hindi talaga ako makakain. So hindi ako makaturo ng classes, sobrang umiiyak ako. Uh, my my co-teacher had to take over. Yung ganon, sobrang messed up. Parang I just wanted to get out, I wanted to run away from it. And at the time, I'd smoke so much. And also, friends, parang to try kay set up and everything. And parang nung una, okay, pakilala, ganyan. But after a while, I was like, but that's not the way. I'm not gonna recover like this. Sa kanyang masaklap na kalagayan, tumawag si LJ sa Diyos. I was like, you know what, God, I'm tired na. You know, I'll just surrender my life to you and let your will be done na lang in my life. And, you know, instead of going out and partying and meeting other guys or trying to be in a relationship again, I spent a lot of time, you know, with God, uh, praying a lot, and I just, I grew with my relationship with Him. I had this journal. Na I'd write like prayers. And dun parang sobrang nahila ko dun. Sa oras na inaayos ng Panginoon ang buhay ni LJ, ganun din pala ang nagaganap kay Jimmy. Naramdaman ni LJ ang pagpapala ng Panginoon nang muling dumagsa ang mga bagong proyekto niya sa show business. Nailaan na rin niya ang panahon sa kanyang mga kapatid at magulang. Habang si Jimmy naman ay rumaratsyada ang karera bilang basketball player sa Talk and Text. Makalipas ang halos dalawang taong hindi pagkikita, muling nagtagpo ang kanilang landas. Kwentuhan lang. Na casual na I was telling him how great my life has been and for the first time, you know, I was actually, I can really say I'm okay not to have a guy in my life. Parang for the first time na I know God has someone prepared for me. Dito na nagsimula ang mas malalim na pagkakaibigan at pag-iibigan ni na LJ at Jimmy. When we decided to start the relationship, I was like, well, this time, you know, there's not going to be any living in and we can't be doing the stuff that husband and wife will be doing. So, yeah, and he's willing and I didn't have to force him to go to church anymore. He willingly goes and from the day we got back together, we were never late for church. God just made that time na maghiwalay kami to fix both of us also. And then when he brought us back together, para na kaming whole. August 19, 2010, nang magdesisyon silang ilagay ang Panginoon sa sentro ng kanilang relasyon sa pamamagitan ng kasal. Ginanap ang kasal sa Laguna Beach sa California, USA.
you don't have God in your life, there's a lot of insecurity, there's a lot of unsureness. Whereas, yung nga, now na, na he's in both of our lives, parang, ang, as far as blessings, overflowing yung blessing, and sobrang okay yung relationship namin. Ang sarap ng feeling because I was patient and I waited for the right time. If we would have gotten married before, yung relationship namin before, I don't think it would be as good as how it is now. Confident ako na God will always make a way. Whether alam ko kahit na kasi may iwas sa my times, sa my problems and everything, na He'll always be there and He'll always be there to catch us. I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs>